Oh, it's right on par. As soon as I record, that little message comes up. All right, so I want to talk about how to make 8 gigabytes of VRAM work in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. I am currently uh, in 4K I'm playing in. We're at Catalina. It's a beautiful add-on. Definitely look into it. Um, and there's tricks. There's little things you can do to make 4K gaming work. And why would you need 4K? For me, I'm on a 55-inch TV, and I'm about four feet away. So anything 1440, anything 1080 just looks horrendous on a 4K 55-inch TV, at least when I'm this close. So I wish, you know, I've thought about maybe trying to find a smaller TV and do 1440. It's ridiculous. You'd be surprised how similar performance is from 1440 to to 2160 it's ridiculous but anyway let's go over some settings um, now I am in DLSS balanced and of course I'm sure most of you are monitors so you could be in 1440 performance or not performance uh, quality or DLAA and have similar sort of you know you know what I'm saying but where you're gonna find the most room for your VRAM is gonna be in things like trees is one of the biggest things on the ground if you notice that when you take off your performance gets a lot better things like trees plants rocks grass rocks less so plants not really grass kind of but trees are ridiculous so i keep them on medium if i'm flying in the cub and i'm low and slow i'll go high but it's rare buildings medium but the main thing is going to be uh texture resolution of course which i have on medium uh, I used to run low, but since Sim Update 3 beta, I've been easily able to run medium. I think the optimization there is great. This should be on high. I don't know why it's on medium. Anyway, high on the, the on the clouds, I have to have high. Uh, terrain shadows I have off. That's a big relief to your card. Uh, and I can't, I don't notice it. I'm sure if I'm looking at one with it on ultra and one with it off, I'd be like, the ultra one looks pretty good, you know. But just in my own Sim, flipping it in and out, on and off, I, I don't really notice it at all. Um, little things you can just compromise on. Windshield effects, gotta have high. Ambient inclusion, that's fine. I keep it on medium. It's not that big of a difference. Cube map, I like a lot. I want that high. Same with Ray March. This is just little reflections, little things in the water, things like that I like. Speaking of water, you gotta have that on high, wherever that setting is. Um, but yeah, the main thing is the texture resolution low. Uh, fauna off. This isn't a safari simulator. This is a flight simulator. Road traffic, I do like high. I notice no difference in performance there. Air traffic, I have off, but that's just because I'm recording. If I'm not recording, I'll keep that on. Lower settings, but on. Uh, everything else is fairly standard, but I'm on a 3060 Ti, and I'm playing in 4K balanced DLSS, which with the new DLSS and DLSS swapper is outstanding so people always say something about the blurry textures um, which when you're on a smaller monitor it looks terrible or it looked before the new DLSS oh I don't think I turned the fuel on yeah I didn't um, we're in the Trinidad by the way this is a great little fun kooky 80s plane dude it's cool but the DLSS for most people on the monitors can look really horrendous. So when you're on a TV, if you've got the ability to play on TV, play on TV, dude, I'm telling you. Life changing. But um, yeah, let's do a little lap. Well, I don't have the park brake on apparently. Alright, let me get my head tracking on here. There we go. You'll see how pretty Catalina is, dude. It was one of my favorites in 2020, and I completely forgot about it. So I started flying it in 24, and it looks just as good. Also, I did a video on the analog uh, caravans, and or just all the black square stuff, and how to get that in the new sim. 
and I realize that the caravan is no longer, the default 24 caravan is no longer available to me um, in the menu. So keep that in mind. I haven't really checked on the Bonanza, but I'd imagine it's probably the same. I almost wonder if you swap out the Bonanzas for the, the analog. Anyway, I was curious if it would translate to the, uh, whatchamacallit, st uh, uh, career mode. I doubt it, but it's interesting. Where's my trim? There it is. Get that set. Oh. The elevation is a little wonky for the Catalina add-on, but it's worth it. Whee! <laughs> okay. Give this puppy a whirl. I don't play this plane enough, man. It's fun. It's a good medium speed plane. You can hit approaches in. It's complex. Got a fixed pitch prop. Alright. We're looking good. Getting a close, dangerously close to running out of runway. Talk about pucker factor, boys. Gears up. Uh, oh, another crucial setting that I'm sure you don't really need me to tell you about that I'm running right now is the... Um, hold on, I'll pull it up for you. D -d 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 Dynamic LOD. And I just updated this app. It has some, some new updates. Um, but you can save different profiles. And right now, this is sort of my everything profile. 500 feet, we're at 100 TLOD, so on and so forth. Uh, I have lower settings for bigger planes, the A350, uh, Phoenix, stuff like that. But for the most part, I stick with the number one profile. It does a great job. But I mean, this new beta has just really, really improved things a lot. And we're in Sim Update 3. So, I mean, think of, I mean, look at that. That's nothing to, you know, I'm not kicking that out of bed for eating crackers. That's beautiful. But just think of how great it's going to be when we're on Sim Update 15, like the old Sim. But, I digress. The whole trick with running high resolution on on 8 gigabytes of VRAM is just giving yourself, you're, you're trimming the fat, okay? You're taking out all these settings that are VRAM hungry in lieu, or swapping them out essentially for higher resolution. At least that's what I've done in my case. Um, and that tends to do well. Your PC tends to kind of shake on it and go, all right, all right, all right. You know, less texture resolution. Okay, I'll give you a little better, a little more pixels. All right, I can do that. I can swing that. You know, tends not to complain too much. So, there, of course, there's a threshold. There's a limit, as is the case with anything. But it's a much it's certainly worth it and I always 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 misjudge my height in the sim when I'm flying anywhere with like a a cliff approach if that makes sense it's like uh, Mountain Air in Burnsville North Carolina to NC0 it's an awesome add-on but it's on the side of a mountain and it's so hard to judge where you're at you know what I mean I'm always too high so we'll see how I do. Let's go prop full forward, mixture full forward. Flaps one is in. Go flaps two. There we are. I'm definitely lower than I need to be. Or maybe I'm right on path. I have no clue. It's hard to judge. Again, look how cool this plane is, dude. I just love this cockpit. It's the coolest. Anyway, let's go gear down. 
A very informal pattern, by the way, which I usually do in my videos. Great approach. Wonderful, wonderful sunset. Our landing lights on. All right. Much more flap, so we got or my full. One more nut. Nope, no, that's full. Okay. Let's see if old budget can hit a hit a greaser. Now I'm starting to see we're pretty high. That's all right. That's all right. Don't worry, guys. Let me go to that one camera. Yeah. But yeah, the lower your texture resolution. This is a 2020 plane, by the way, and it never had good, te like, super good textures to begin with. So don't think that that's from medium texture resolution. It's so hard to distinguish even on a 4k 55 inch tv the higher texture resolution a anyway you won't notice it there's so many settings that you need to divorce from and once you do it opens up so much overhead and as i've aged i've realized overhead is the name of the game all right we're uphill here bleed off some speed Looking good. A little left rudder. Ooh, Ooh just kiss it. Hey, baby. Aww. What's happening, fam? Aww. Dang, shorty, what's happening? Aww. That's what the kind of the landing you guys want to have. Let's go park over by the DC-3, Betty. Yo! Yeah. That's what's up. Look at that sun, man. What a good time. I've also dampened my my rudder sensitivity, which is wonderful for on the ground. But in real life, you give a little little ding, little bunk to your rudder, you're gonna feel it in the air. But on the ground, it is so squishy and spongy. It essentially does nothing under you know however many RPM or under however many knots. So I don't know. There needs to be a way that they can make it much more sensitive in the air and a lot less sensitive on the ground. So maybe they'll figure that out, who knows. But that's a little tidbit, a little settings rundown. Everybody's different, so it's hard to really kind of give you any tips for your particular system, but let's go ahead and kill the mixture. Lovely. What a great little plane this is. Super fun. You just pull up here, eat your lunch, get you a, a little a little date in the seat, have a ham sammy. That's a fun time. The door's open in this. This is a 2021. Hey! We got the suicide door, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Suicide door, hey, yeah. Trinidad, hey, yeah. TV, I think it's 21, hey. Bruh. Blah, 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 scissor. 